This is a tutorial on using the Arduino-based temperature control lab. We're going to connect it to Python and be able to read temperatures and flash an LED. Let's go through this tutorial just to be able to set up and install it. We have the device. We're going to connect that through the USB cable to the computer. And the very first thing we'll need to do is just go ahead and install TC Lab. So you can do that a couple different ways. Pip install TC Lab. This is within the Jupyter Notebook. You just got to put the exclamation mark in front of it and it'll issue that command. It says that TC Lab requirements are already satisfied as long with Pi Serial. You can also do import pip and then do pip main install and then whatever package name you want here and that will also try to go out and install that. The final way is just through a command prompt pip install tc lab so those are a couple different ways to install modules and you'll need the tc lab package okay once that's installed we want to go ahead and connect this to the uh, the computer and so what i'll do is go ahead and just connect this usb here okay on the one side and then on the computer i'll go ahead and connect it in uh, to a usb port right here and what we want to watch right here is the LED that we're going to flash as a first exercise. So down here, here's a test script. And we're just going to run through some of these commands. Once you have TC Lab installed, you can just do import TC Lab. I'm also going to import time as well, package time. And then uh, run that and insert a cell below. So that's where I'm going to import all of my packages. The very first thing I'll need to do is just go ahead and connect to the temperature control lab and then when I'm done I'll close the connection and then within here I'm going to turn on the LED to hundred percent you can put fifty percent if you want or any number between zero and hundred and then I will sleep for I'll go five seconds instead of the recommended one there and then turn off the LED so let's go ahead and run that it's going to um, go out and connect to the Arduino. There you can see that the LED is on and then it's off. Okay, there's our first test with the LED. Let's go ahead and read some temperatures as well. If you come down here, we're going to need uh, a couple more commands. It's just the A.T1, which is going to read the temperature at the beginning a.t1 and then after it sleeps for five seconds we'll print the temperature again okay so it's going to connect and then the LED is going to turn on and I'll put my finger on it just to make it heat up a just slightly okay there you can see it heated up by just a little bit you can see that initially it was at 22.83 degrees Celsius and then the new temperature reading is 25.06. Okay, so just a slight change in the temperature. Okay, so now we've flashed the LED and we've also uh, you know, read the temperatures at different times. Now what we want to do is just set up a loop that's going to run through and, and be able to record the temperature every second for one minute and then we'll generate a plot. We'll need a couple other packages for that. I'll do import numpy as np. That's our numpy package to be able to store the data and then we'll be able to plot it. And then we'll also import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And don't forget if you're in the Jupyter Notebook to do matplotlib inline to be able to show the plots inline. Yeah, I'm just going to take this same program that we just wrote here and we will just create a new loop for i in range uh, we'll go 60 seconds here okay and then uh, we will indent these okay and this one is going to be you know we can get rid of the LED ones if we want um, we just need to record the temperatures and we only need to record it once okay so I'm just gonna paste this one back in here we want to be able to store this temperature that we're reading right here 
It will only sleep for one second instead of for five seconds. So what we need to do now is just going to create some storage. Okay, I'm going to do T1 Celsius is going to be NumPy. And then this is just going to be an empty array of 60. And then also record the time as well. Okay, those are just going to be 60 numbers. You could also replace that with zeros if you want to just start with zeros instead of just random numbers. Okay, so now I need to be able to record that. I'm going to do T1C, and I have my I index there. So that's going to go from 0 to 59. And I'm going to record it every loop and sleep for one second. I also need to record the time as well. Okay, now this one, I have to use the time package. Just like I slept for one second, I just need to record the actual time. And so we need to have a start time. Okay, and I'm just going to use time dot time for my current time minus the start. And that's going to give me the time elapsed since my current time. Okay, and then uh, I'm just going to, this is going to collect all of the values for me. And, uh, you know, if I want to, I could print out, um, you know, let's just go ahead and print this as it's going. We'll print uh, T1C just for the current temperature. And also print the current time with a comma in between them. Okay, so that's going to run for 60 seconds and just be able to print out those values just for testing here. Let's go ahead and do uh, the final time is 60. I'll change that to 10 for right now and then we can change it back to 60. Okay, and I'll just put in final time here and final time there. Okay, so just see if it works. I'm only going to run it for 10 seconds. And let's just see if this is going to collect every second. Okay, so it says that NP is not defined. Looks like I needed to run this one again because I typed it in, but I didn't run it. So make sure you run the cell up above when you import NumPy. Okay, let's go ahead and try this one more time. Let's see, if you get this error right here, it looks like it's not connecting to the Arduino. Sometimes it started, it tried to connect, but then there was an error, you didn't close the connection. So what I do is I do one of two things. I either come down here and press this little red button just to reset the device. Or the other thing you can do is just go ahead and unplug the USB cable and then plug it back in and that will also reset the device. Okay, so one of two ways to just reset it. If you come up with that connection error, uh, you can just reset the device and then try it again. Okay, so I'm going to try to run this again just with 10 seconds. And there you can see the current time and the temperatures it's reading. And if I put my finger on here, you should see it go you know, up a little bit. Okay, so then we'll plot it after we're done with that. I'm going to insert a cell below, and I already have matplotlib there, so I'm going to do plt.plot, and I'll do tm, and then t1c, and I'll make those red, um, red circles, and there you can see the temperatures that I just collected. So let's let this run just a little bit more, and also as we're doing that, we'll make the plot just a little bit better. Okay, down here as it's going, this is going to be kind of a challenge, but uh, I'll do label equals temperature, and looks like I'm going to lose it. Okay, so I got to kind of stay ahead of this. It's kind of a, I shouldn't have started this running, but we'll try it. Uh, PLT dot legend. Okay, and let's see, other things that we'll need. I think that's about it. Uh, we might need some X and Y labels as well. You can see it progressing through here. Let me see if I can get the plt.x label. And I'll do time. This is incredibly difficult to do, but um, to follow that. Uh, and then we'll do temperature, and that will be degrees Celsius. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like it's almost done. So I was just typing the code below for the plot as this was running. It went up to 59 seconds. So you can go to 61 if you want to go for all 60 seconds. Okay, and there you can see, looks like it went down just a little bit, but uh, you can change the X, uh, X limit and Y limit. Okay, so let's say you wanted to do uh, X limb, you know, maybe go 0 to 60 and y limb you could do um, you know, 22 to uh, 20 I'll do 30 okay so it's gonna look more like a flat line uh, because it really is there's just a slight temperature variation there okay let's go ahead and run this again but I'm going to you know maybe put my finger on it now heat it up I've also got a little space heater here that I can try out as this is going Okay, if you want to, you can also hook up the heater. Um, you'll control the, uh, you know, this would connect right here to the barrel jack, and then this would be able to be plugged into an outlet, either 120 or 240 volt outlet, uh, and you can control the heaters as well. That's going to be a future uh, exercise, but I'm just going to take a little space heater right here and put it up here. and. Let's see, plug that one in. Okay, now I've turned on the heater. This is kind of warm right here, so just put it up right here, and you should see that temperature going up. Okay, but you can also put your finger on it as well. I don't recommend putting your finger on it if you're going to be using the built in heaters to the temperature control lab. Okay, I'll turn off the heater, and then let's go ahead and just plot that one more time. And there you can see when I turned on the heater and the temperature rose. Okay, but you can also just put your finger on it, um, you know, and provide some heat just to the temperature sensor. The temperature sensor is a little thing right here in front, has a little bit of the white epoxy on it. The heater is the thing in the back. It's the transistor that we're going to be using to heat up this device. Okay, so there's the, uh, you know, we want to do some statistics on this as well. Uh, you could do that in another cell below. But we have all of the uh, data there in our T1C. And so you could print, for example, the, the max. And then convert that to a string. And you can do the max of T1C. Okay, you can also do the... Uh, the minimum and the average as well. So I'll get a couple of these. This one's going to be the min. And then for the average, you'll need to do np.min. And there you have the max, the min. Um, and I should change these. And the average. Okay, so there is the, you know, just some of the basic statistics. Um, you know, if you want to do the standard deviation as well, uh, I think it's just STD. Okay, so there's the standard deviation, for example. Okay, so a couple other things that you can do to just analyze the data. We've also generated a plot. Um, you can see here we took our Arduino device, we installed the TC Lab package. If you need any more help on that, just go to TC Lab uh, read the docs.io and it gives a little bit more information, uh, documentation on the temperature control lab and how to use it. Okay, with a lot more advanced features there. In a subsequent lab, we're going to be using the heaters as well. We're going to send power to the heaters and be able to control those and do some more uh, data analysis. There's also more. Uh, you know, more exercises. If you'd like to get those, just go to apmonitor.com slash heat.htm and that will show more of the process control, you know, diagrams, additional information on how to use the temperature control lab. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this lab. It's, uh, you know, just a, 
a lab on how to connect to an Arduino with Python, be able to read some temperatures and be able to control an LED. And we'll do some more things with data analysis.